our experiment. Uh, number two. Uh, So I saved our data and I brought it into JASP, which should look very familiar to all of you at this point. Um, and one tool that we haven't used in JAS that I want to show you is you can, there's a separate tab under analyses for just sort of describing your data. So if I go here to descriptives, uh, I can say that I want to look at pH. And what we're probably most interested in is, is that there's a difference between the source or where the water came from. Um, and here we can see um, we had three samples from the Camp 3 restaurant and the average was close to seven, which is good because that means it's neither acidic or basic. We can also get a graph. By going to plots. And we're going to do a box plot. We're going to put the points on, and we're going to make it colored. Then the wall at the Mazu remove Papsa Jura, Dela Pepa Ina, any, then you tango did the remove a mapne, and Pagan Mazu dam, dam goya to the any damba ina, any number in the two grades. And what we see is remember, we did three, or we tried to do three technical replicates for each sample, and here we got. One, two, three, and we got very different pH numbers for those three replicates. Um, remember that tables one and three had a different kit than the rest of the groups. So we're, for just a moment, we're going to look at pH by uh, the sampling kit. So um, you will notice that the kit that a lot of people had in the back, the bomb bomb set, gave very high pH values. And that seemed really unusual. And so Dondup and I repeated one sample with both kits. And with one kit, we got essentially nine. And with another, we got closer to 6.5 or 7. So my hypothesis is that um, for a lot of the chemicals we measured, we seem to get pretty similar values. But I think the bombs it like that there's something wrong with the pH measure that it is using. 
Ani senjai saya di ani double double charge as. Tapi ni ya PhD ni dua belas ribu di tela ani tak je cecah di desain cik di dos cik kian short metro sama yang cung sama. Saya mana? Um, <clears throat> this is just another one of the chemicals we measured, which is nitrate. nitrate um, And nitrate can be impacted by a lot of things, but part of it is sort of how you're cycling through all the organic material that's getting into the water, and you should hopefully be breaking down a lot of these nitrates in really healthy water. Nitrate I mean, we definitely have some samples. If I saw these data, I'd be like, we should go back and measure that. Because in a lot of cases, we get very little variation. And then every once in a while, we get a lot of variation within a sample. Uh, um, another thing I'll point out, and this is just a thing when you're working with data, you'll see that we have tap water from the nunnery listed in twice. Uh, and that's for a silly reason. Here there's a space and here there's not. So any program can't see that these are actually the same thing. Um, and oftentimes when you're working with large data sets, you will figure this out. You might realize like, why is participant three listed twice? It's because of a space or a small um, problem, and you can fix that, and then hopefully this would all be in one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all of the data that we collected are available for you if you want to sort of look at them some more. We also have more test strips, so if you're interested in comparing between the two tests or bringing in some more water over the next couple days, we can certainly sort of build on this data, these data. Um, but you can see very quickly we got a set of data to work with and compare these samples for a number of different traits. And there's a ton of data here, actually, that we collected in about 45 minutes. Uh, Okay, so um, a goal of this workshop is for you to develop one last project um, that you will work on for about the next six months. Um, and as we sort of mentioned on our first day about these projects, you have lots of opportunity 
to um, go in different directions. You'll be able to work in your current group or eventually we'll sort of help you form new groups or you'll find your own groups. You can build on your previous work or the project you just completed or you could do something completely new. เลชาดูเบียดีนางโลลารุคาอมารุคาตะกะรานยามดูดีกิงอิสลานีเดบายเนจิกิโอเรสยาลุคาซาวาอะนี่ยามดูเลกาจิกิงอิสลานีดีล
motor che di sampu meba ina ya kono dile ta ji kharsu rakwa sura ji motor che ta kanje di ni susu di da sampa ji gugu res sampu ji um or you could do something completely different so here's something completely different um so you could do a project and saying does um planting flower gardens with school children and talking about plant life cycles increase their understanding of uh the life cycle of a plant from seed to flower uh, Tishingi,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,他,
मिगे चीजो नांगलो ला अनि चिके कर्सुरे लुजे चिये दिदा अनि को छोटे नी पारा लाई अनि जवा खरीदो रोहादी खेवा खरीदो दी तम संगताय योरवास It totally threw me off. Okay, um, so you could um, look at sort of how um, amount of exercise people get in the community is correlated with age. Trying to then understand is there sort of a particular age um, of the lay community that there should be maybe an intervention to increase the amount of physical activity that they get. Uh, how exercise is correlated with age? Age, <coughs> so yeah, here they, they want to study. Okay, just that the Nanglo last Tunde Taya di Roa, any Luze Ki Yunse Jura, Luze Mangu Seneda, Yunse Dita, any Lo, Roa Loni Parala, any Tunde Karatugudo, Roa Tach, Chisogi Nanglo La Pena, Mija Chisona Imbaina, any Lo Loi Kebargis, any Luze Mangu La, any Keba Yungudu Mindo, Roa. And the any shame tone, Rapena, Lose, D Nanglo Lata, uh Luce and in Chiala Kumatango to say Nizuitin de any shimjutin yet to rest. Um so another question format is how does X change over time? Uh they are Tiwa Shemba Chik Rata Shimju Tiwa Shemba Chik the Pena Keju Ji Shane Keju the any twigi can do you can just go to Slane. So one way to look at this is to find a variable of interest, say heart rate variability in group seven or sleep architecture in uh, using the muse. Uh, Heart rate variability and what was And the muse, the brain. Uh, uh, to measure? Yeah. Measure just, what? I'm just giving those as two. Oh, sleep. Sleep? Yeah, sleep. Okay. And in Yamena, Rua, I need to the muse that would in the pages, Chene, and in Yi Kuya, Ki, the Yunsej Rua, D, and it took you to your country to the Tai in Ross. And maybe you collected data on that in younger individuals, and you're interested in how those, you know, variables, whether it's sleep architecture or heart rate variability or some other metric, look in older individuals. And you're basically looking at what's, how these things progress over the course of development and age. That would be one possible example. Uh, Longomadi <laughs> Um, as another example, much of this community is surrounded by agricultural fields where crops are being grown um, and where farm animals are moving back and forth, and that likely changes over the course of the year. Uh, <coughs> Any Shinga to the logic ladder, Tundo Taviata, Dueta di Chigure, any co Shinga Nalo Pajuda, that Simjan to Pazu to A, Yorwa, the Imbosons, any contending to Zen Nalo last, any Kabahar Drugo, Yuahar Drugo, Dita, Yung Chogres. So you can imagine in this next six months to interview farmers to understand how the pesticides that they use or how the movement of their animals will change over the next six months? Yeah. The Dinang Lola, Bena, Shinga Tata, Shinga Dangi, Shingbotola, any Kajatine, called Tuzugi Kendo, any Shinga Koran like you are, Rata Bena, Konsuki Salu Pesuci at Obadaya, Chike Busue, Gibumen, Gaya, D, Gains in Kabaka Drugo, Yana, called Shinga Nangola, that Simjan to the Pazu Dragi, Jushugi Kabaka Drugo, Tinte, Kaju Manguji Tacho Res. 
And then you could repeat, repeatedly sample water near a few fields over that time and see if sort of the chemicals in the water or the bacterial load in the water changes over time in a way that maybe is correlated with something that the farmers are doing. Oh. Um, and then the final question is how does the relationship between X change over time? So many of your projects involved what we would call cross-sectional uh, data collection. And that makes a lot of sense because it's very feasible and cross-sectional data analysis involves where you collect data on people at a particular point in time. But often we're interested in how those relationships that we see at one point in time strengthen or weaken or maintain over the course of time. So one thing you could do is you could collect a follow-up assessment using similar measures as you used at your first time point um, at a later point in time to examine those relationships over time. Now again, one of your challenges is to make your new proposal distinct enough so it stands alone as its own project. So one thing you could do is you could look at a measure at your baseline that you've already collected and use that measure to do prediction analyses to not only see the extent to which people change over time, but whether there are certain predictors at baseline that might actually help predict who does and who doesn't change over time. Uh, um, so another example of this is you could imagine that planting flowers in front somewhere in your nunnery or monastery would be likely to increase people's happiness. So your proposal could be to um, plant flower gardens, come up with a really well-validated survey 
to ask people about sort of happiness and what their perception of is of those flowers. Uh, but maybe as humans, you know, once they're first there and they're all pink and pretty, we're really excited. Um, but if you ask people later on and they've been walking past them over and over, it doesn't increase their happiness as much. And so you could look over time to see if that happiness score changes. Um, and Robin brought up a good term. So this would be an example of habituation, right? The intervention has less and less of an effect over time. And some of you predict for your, like your meditation interventions the opposite, right? If you could get your participants to do it for 10 days and then 30 days and then maybe even two months, that you would see more and more of an effect. And that would be testable by getting multiple data points over the same participants. Okay, so this is what we're going to do now. We want you to be creative and think about what you want to do within the entire space of uh, neuroscience and biology. Um, don't worry too much if it's feasible. I mean, our goal is to eventually get you down to a project that you can do in six months while also doing all the other amazing things you do. <laughs> Uh, so we'll give you uh, five minutes, and we want you to actually write down scientific questions that interest you. So you'll do that individually, no talking? Um, and then we're going to have you talk within your group and then across groups before lunch. So you'll recall that during the initial year we talked about a three year plan. Uh, first year was some basic skills, second year was a pretty deep dive into neuroscience, and in year three we wanted to give you some more flexibility to go in different directions. Uh, 
So I think this is a meaningful moment for you where you get to now decide, do you want to do deeper specialization in the types of techniques you've been working on, more neuroscience or psychology, or do you want to venture out into new topics and methods, for example, in biology or something of the sort? Uh, and you shouldn't feel pressure to stay doing what you're doing, nor should you feel pressure to go do something very different. It's really up to you. Do you want to go deeper into your methods of neuroscience and psychology, or do you want to try something else? Anything or either of those options is Great. Uh, and just one last comment. Or you could stay within neuroscience but do a different topic area. It's not as though you either stay in neuroscience or go to a different topic area. You can also change around within the area of neuroscience. It's really up to you. Okay, so you got five minutes and I would love for you to write at least five questions. Uh, Got it?
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
ตะกันลายรุกานีนี่สุชาติกินอันชิโลนัมเชียกุยอบสุนซานัมเบอร์ซอรุกานัมตุชินิชิโลเพอันนี้ซาเจียกุจิชวยเนเดลนัมเอ